Wait a minute. Thank you, Sarah, for this awesome cord that allows me to be able to do this. Hello, Jacob. Thank you for joining us. We are live now. Bear with me. I like, I'm like, I'm like, where's the towels up in here? It looks like there's one right there. I have this really awesome dress that I wore for the beach cleanup. And I've been wanting to take a bath in this for forever. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if you can just be patient with me a moment or two. Um, prepare. Make sure. I have what I need, some uh, shampoo, kind of, well this is body wash and stuff. Setting as hot as it'll go, and yes, hello, Paul, aka Beavis. <laughs> we can still do it as long as it doesn't get broken right now, which it might, by the way, because the zipper. All right, now it's getting a little too hot. A little cold. Oh, I'm not gonna wanna be in here long. It, I'm just saying it's possible. You know, I got this dress for free. I go to this store all the time. It's called The Closet. And it's kind of a consignment shop, except like it's all like old vintage stuff and like designer stuff. <laughs> and this was in a basket and she's like, you know what, I've had that forever and no one's bought it. Take it. And oh my god, it fit me like a glove. Like it was so happy. It's like my I called it my space dress. Like originally it bunched up, however, like I broke almost all of them that are like that. So it's kind of just like, it's still my space dress, but you know, it's getting kind of full, so stop the water as much as I love that sound. Uh, I should have titled this ASMR as well. I don't always know when there's going to be healing sounds, but I definitely find the yellow in the bathroom to be a nice contrast when usually I'm kind of like not always a huge fan of yellow, especially like one of the shades of yellow that are on there right now. However, I'm really liking this imagery. I'm really liking the feels that it evokes. I don't remember what gold does. I know bathrooms are usually like brown because of the whole feng shui. I'm, this, I'm talking about feng shui mechanics right now. I think Sarah took a shower before she left. That's what I think. I definitely think she did. It's like actually put that over there. Over there instead. I knew it! I found your wet towel. That's how I knew. Your wet towel was on the bed. <laughs> All right, I think I'm really, really, really ready. All right, that was a lie. Slightly, slightly. All right, no. Okay, okay, look at this cool dress. Like, isn't it super cool? It's so cool! I love this dress, all right, we're going in. Like, I feel like I should be going this way. I can go like a little slow. Oh, oh, 
that first dunk is always the best in clothes. I love swimming in clothes. I always have. Always. This dress doesn't really show, um, here. Like, I'm trying to show how it gets darker once it gets soaked. Like, some clothes are more uh, distinct in doing that. Uh, warm, very warm. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, she could see that steam. I can see steam right there. Try to angle it. The lighting gets at this. Uh, my face feels kind of like poofy because I put on like chemicals to try to remove the excess makeup. I should really stop using almost all products that have chemicals to be honest because I'm sensitive. I put like this lotion all over my eyes. It said rosemary. <laughs> Stick to coconut oil. It's much more better. Much more better to use the coconut oil. Much more better. <sighs> I'm in my happy place for sure. Like, you think I like the pool? Uh uh. I like clean water. I like clean, hot water. Yeah, it automatically has fluoride and other awful chemicals inside the composites of American water. However, it's still water. <sighs> All right, hot water is an awful place to practice your breath holding because your heart rate, boom, 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 boom. And like, sometimes I count. Counting will help me stay under and especially if I can be mindful of my thoughts to have calm, rational thinking as I'm under the surface. However, my energy and your energy and just all the energy right now, woo! It's too high, it's too frequent, too chaotic, um, too many hurts, multitudes, <sighs> quadludes. <sighs> my diaphragm, dude. <sighs> 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 
if I allow my breath to speak. So much anxiety, and like depression and suppression, and so much need to hide and control. So much, like it feels like giant weight, like, like right there, right now. If I had Sarah here or like somebody, I could be like, farm boy, I need singing bowl right now, quick. I need to, I need to, you're all right there. Like I need to like hold my breath longer to be honest. Like I can feel the pressure. One second, let me go again. One, two. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who has seen um, Andre. It's called Andre. It's a movie about a seal and a seal who plays basketball. <laughs> So much tension. Mm. Uh. I did bring a tool. It would require me to soak the floor of the hotel room. It could be better, Paul. <laughs> My skills could be better. I don't take compliments very well. In fact, I'm not fans of uh, stroking the ego. It's kind of uncomfortable and exposing. I will. I will! Ugh. My neck just like, oh, there we go. Yeah. Thank goodness for hair. I just pulled a little bit of that and just like, oh, uh, cracked so nice. Uh, now if I can only get the other side so equal. So much release and like feels so good. Like a lot of my yoga includes like neck stuff because I always have problems with my neck. And yeah, sometimes you have to hold it and have a couple breaths. I just can't get this side of my neck to release like the other side. Which is, it's just not the same to the depth or something like that. But this one has a lot more pull it feels like. <sighs> yeah, yeah, fine, I'll get the tool. All right, it's good butt heads, you know what? I'm gonna soak the floor, just soak the floor, let's do it. And I have to disconnect from electronics, which is also dangerous when doing crap like that, right? All right, I don't even know where it is right now. I'm like, let me do a little patrol. Oh, look, you see that? You see that? <sighs> I can't really see that well because the brightness has turned low. My face is like so red right now. I open up this patio. I love coming out here and it's like if you're a nudist like me it's also great for like multitudes of reasons. Alright, 
Can we point out how close our neighbors are? <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> Alright, so the tool. It's orange. And I think it, I want to be like it was a gift from Kitty, but I could be wrong. It might have been something I bought myself with Amazon gift card money or something. Uh, which could have came from Kitty too, because Kitty sends gift cards and she's awesome. So this is the tool. Let's go back into the better lighting, shall we? Where I can see you. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this thing clips onto your phone. And it kind of just makes it a stand. It's kind of like that. That's my tool, where it makes it stand up sideways. <sighs> Bear with me here, bear with me here. Let me see something, let me, see, let me do something else. This, this, come on, turn around camera. Here we go, all right. Hmm, I've also never tried to like set the camera down with the front side. I don't think it'll work. I mean, maybe it does work. I don't know. I don't know. Depends on what you're going for, I suppose, huh? I'm like holding the phone by this right now, which is pretty cool. It doesn't, it's not sliding out. I'm testing it too, I'm really, oh! I'm always testing things to see if they're Trina proof. Because I am a professional destroyer. <laughs> I will break everything. Everything. And I will lose everything. It's pretty cool so far. I saw these at the airport and I, like, I'm a very hands on person, as I stated before. And I got hands on with one in the airport and I thought it was pretty cool. So, of course, instead of me paying the double charge of their rent, basically supporting the airport store. I instead, of course, went to Amazon and cheated and uses, yeah, I use gift card money. <laughs> I save those things up and I use them for emergency tools. I like useful items. I'm very big about useful things. So never is there anything on my wish list that's not useful. <laughs> and yes, even if it's a rock, I'm very powerful with rocks because my last name is Mason. And the more you know, the more powerful you are, right? Because knowledge is power. And with great power comes great responsibility. So you have to be responsible with your creator energy because basically we are God. We create, we can create hell and we can create heaven. We can create explosions and we can create life, human life forms that can be robots basically, right? That can serve us and build stuff and be smart and talk, etc. All right, so I'm about to go back in. Cooling down, catching my breath, doing my thing. What do you think, Sean? Do you think Trina Mason, like, enjoys bathing in clothing? And also is kind of forced to because of the feminine nature? Cliche as hell, man. Cliche. <laughs> See, that's why it's great to be live and have commentary because, like, you have energy you can feed off of. And when you have the right energy, the right crowd, or the appropriate one that doesn't make you feel bad when you're around them type thing. Yes, Sean. See, we are dripping water all over the bathroom. <laughs> what, what happened to the door? That's what I want to know. All right, all right, I've never done this before. So bear with me here. So I see this cabinet here and I have my tool. Now, maybe I need to be up another level and then that's too high up. So, ooh, ooh, wait. I can use towels as like levels. See, like, I've been doing this so long, so, like, I'm, like, always learning through experience how to get what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do, he is. Jeez, this is so annoying. Another towel. Let's try another towel. I'm a cheater. I'm, like, MacGyver as fuck. Come on. I'm gonna make this work. I never give up. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm, like, a child, but worse. I'm that kid that never grows up and is just... Very creative and weird. All right, here we go. All right, hold on. My clip thing just fell off, so. Boo. All right. This is annoying, dude. 
The joys of being solo, a solo creator. <laughs> you think this shit comes easy? You think it just happens? It kind of does just happen, but it takes <sighs> time. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to mess with these towels and do something different to get what I would like to do. What up? Oh, it fell off. All right, I could have did this without that, I guess. All right, who needs a stupid clip anyway? <laughs> I don't know how long that's gonna stay. But holy crap, I made it work. Woo! Yeah. All right, there's commentary, of course. Um, how about no? I do have jeans here. I do. However, they are very special jeans. I'll be like, how about freaking no? <laughs> how about freaking no, Scott? <laughs> I'm a mark. Did you know I'm a mark? I'm a mark for a lot of different things. I'm a mark for water. I'm a mark for shiny. I love shiny wardrobe. I love shiny things, period. I like water. I love the ocean. I love rain. I love distilled water. I love to drink distilled water. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they tell you. I would like you to look into his name is Andrew Weber and not Andrew Lloyd. And he is a water scientist, basically. And there's also a lot of things called urine therapy that you may want to do some homework on. And if you study, like there's a lot of his story, visual imagery and information basically where you see a little boy and he's peeing into a fountain and then the fountain gets turned into wine and then the people are drinking the wine. You should really do your homework on history and recognize what's right in front of you if you would just choose to see instead of being so controlled by your tools <laughs> for uh, men and women, essentially, it's all driven from the mind, the hormones, the way you choose to focus your mind and your energy. Your sexual energy is your ultimate creator energy, and it has to be channeled in the most appropriate way to actually generate proper results. And that's why in Chinese medicine, it's called Jing, J-I-N-G, Jing, I, excuse me. <laughs> Um, it's fascinating, and it's also called essence, and um, some of us that are doing the energy studies would know it as essence, um, and we lose essence when we spill it on the floor kind of thing. There's all kinds of different language for this stuff. <sighs> and it's a comfort. I see all your commentary, and I'm very tempted to look. However, at the same time, that can shift and sometimes that can shift the energy and at times the projections can be good and at times they are self-defeating you have to recognize when the energy is coarse and totally going against the grain and it's an, it's a painful experience like and there's not always a need for you to go through that coarse energy it's just there's different needs for each level of energy, everything feeds off of energy. So something needs that coarse energy. And you wanna know that the main thing that requires that negative coarse energy that we need to breathe, and that is plant life. Plants, the plants love to eat up all that charge. The plants eat up that 5G. They eat up that frequency. And the bees actually add a harmonic resonance in our experience that also causes a vibration that keeps us uplifted and to be happy. There's all kinds of things. If you can be mindful to watch what's going on around you and to be so kind to listen, no one wants to hear these things because everyone is stuck in some other 
mental framework type of thing where they are stuck <laughs> and they can't escape the prison of their own mind. And I had only known that because of I had come to know that from time to time. And yes, in the water was my happy place where I could properly create. And the hotter the water, the better, of course. However, that didn't always happen. Sometimes it happened too hard. Or harsh. Harsh. It's always a secret to hide your pain. To let anyone know the truth of what's really going on. And what your experiences were like. When really his story was important. Everyone's story was. Because we were all human. Man. Human. Woman. Man. Man. <laughs> Dude. The water just always made me feel home. That's the best way to put it. And then I started learning about, I think it's called Murdoch. I don't really know. I don't like really talking that much because I don't really know a lot. And like, it doesn't make me feel confident to talk about things that I don't know. And I'm not a liar. And I would like to not be a liar to myself or anyone or anywhere else. So I tend to stay on the level that I can relate to. Some things are kind of complicated to talk about and kind of embarrassing, awkward, exposing. <laughs> yeah, there's another word for that and I call that truth. And it's uncomfortable and sometimes it's not always pleasant. Like I was talking about facing our darkness. <laughs> All I can hear is the word shaman. S-H-A-M-A-N, shaman, shaman. I don't really know that much what that means. And I just, apparently that's what I am. And I know that term to mean a couple of different things that are working with energy and a lot of it is about purging and of course dealing with some of the most coarsest, darkest, lower, Vibrational energy because I'm so ingrained into the earth, as you say. Uh, I'm also very like contradictory, like I guess you could say being Pisces or whatever you choose to label me. I definitely am like multiple layers of a person. Like, yes, I just ran the bath extremely hot, like extremely hot to where you might faint and where I have fainted in the past. And then I also occasionally put on the cold water, which also contradicts and makes the water that I just made hot cold. So. I kind of like, this is me going against my own grain. Like, like I know these things, but like I'm not practicing what I'm saying. This is where what we say and what we do and what we think are or aren't in correlation with one another, like where they're not of the same. Like basically you can say that like, I want to be happy, but you keep hanging out with people that just make you so unhappy. Or, I don't know, yeah, you can say that you want to choose to have your own business and you want to do this job, but really, like, you're selling yourself short, letting these people take advantage of you and your time and your energy and your efforts and your labor for X freight that you know or that you choose to think that you don't. It's, and then that's where we are slaves to our own thoughts and our own environment, and we believe the energies and the things that are projected upon us, though it's just a false reality. That's why it's like the matrix, basically, because it's like, so hidden and in your face, yet it's also like an interface or computer system. We have some total arc turn and uh, I can't even talk, like I can't even keep up with their speed with the person that's here right now. Um, this is called an Arcturian. I, it sucks to look like when you mention that, like that person instantly likes to run away. I feel like they might still be here, except they toned down their energy a bit. So you can control your energy, like it's recognizing the energy you bring to a space. I want to tell you about Art Arturians if you would listen. A R C T U R I A N S. Arcturians. Um, wow. I mean, I could say so many things about those people. And you may have heard of other people. They're called Palladians. P L E A I D I A N S? I don't think so. 
I do better on paper sometimes, so not really, because I really honestly need to study my linguistics myself and like writing and spelling and like mm, speaking even. Awkwardness for sure, it's so uncomfortable because it's like, oh no. <laughs> but like that's also how we like break apart and we download new information and change and shift and so like we learn through experience and it's like that's why a lot of people don't have those experiences because people don't like to feel uncomfortable and a lot of times the ego creates the slavery system where we believe and get stuck there or whatever where we don't create what we really want to create because we're creating what someone else wants us to create. Dude, I gotta do something. I'm still dry. Like, I'm dry. I'm, I'm kind of dry. I'll dry them a little bit more and try not to mess this up as I touch this towel that you're sitting on. Okay, so before I forget, whoa, I need to plug this back in. So bear with me here. Come here, hopefully I don't drop you. Cool, I think we're good. Let me just check the wall. So I'm a dork, and I love my gadgets. Go, go, gadget, Trina. Hey, oh, I'm trying to relax for a minute, because I think she needs so much. I'm so tense, like all this stuff is just like inside of me, and like, Everybody and nobody knows it. I mean, you know it, but you don't want to believe it because you don't want to believe yourself. You don't want to believe in yourself. You don't want to believe, like, I want to say in God and that we are God kind of thing. That, like, we're all interconnected. Like, like I want to say supposedly. The story I was told, and I believe this came from Heather. I try to push Heather as much as I can because Heather is like, awakening for me to energy more than anyone else. I had my first Reiki session and that was super awakening. However, Heather broke things down into steps and like served me classes and like opportunities to buy different tools that were in her shop and just like certain things called to me. So of course I pick them up and then sometimes I find that they're meant for other clients and that's why I ended up with it too. So that's kind of interesting and that's nice to talk to you right now, whoever's here, because because you were here, I was able to go uh, deeper in. Some people are really tuned in and really connected, so it's really important for you to connect with those people that are like us or like this. I just heard the weirdest sound that sounded like snoring. <laughs> Weirded me out. <sighs> That's kind of interesting sound. I'll be a DJ with my feet. Interesting. Yeah, not everyone's into the whole energy work stuff. And so it's like not really comforting to talk about those things. Or like again, there's so much different language to it, like other people don't feel comfortable talking about it in other ways that they had sacredly learned that practice. And frankly, it's all the same. We all have like, like each his story has like a different, like call it like a toothpick or like some, like some kind of different addition, like, or like, you know, like that meme or whatever. <laughs> like imagine sprinkling stardust or sand and just like a little tiny bit, like that's your part to add to that, that also like changes the contrast and the color or however you choose to perceive the multitudes of those things. I don't know, it still just gets me really sad. I can't help but get like really sad when I'm confronted with all this stuff because I get sad that like it's like a whole world that like no one knows exists. It's kind of like when people really get in touch with their passion. I guess to me that's kind of what that feels like as an empath. The only way to explain other people what I'm trying to describe. And it's just really sad. It's just like, at the same time, it doesn't matter though, because like all of the set, like all of it transforms, there's constant transformation. Like you can think that you're holding your breath or that the world stops when you like break up with somebody or whatever it is, it just completely feels like it's gonna stop time. Or that things slow down when you're hanging out with this person. Things are so great. Stuff like that. Time is such a like fabulous part of science. It is like one of my most <sighs> like <laughs> I want to be like my biggest lover is time. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that though in science it's it's true for me. Like I almost get off or I just am so passionate about the truth of light frequencies 
and sound, waves, time, all that stuff has just, like, it encompasses me, is like the best language to describe that. However, like, it's really, 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 it's so minuscule and like, almost secret and like exactly imagine all the calcified pineal glands so everyone's mind is on sports and uh let's say root chakra or like survival stuff which is like procreating they made it making money and um there's a third one i was gonna say oh fighting fighting that's all that's all the base of like human instinct and we're all being kind of like controlled by the serpent, you could say, or the snake of the kundalini, which is our spine, which is connected to all the chakras, and the Egyptians also knew, and except, I believe, in the Egyptian system, or just another back window of that you should know about chakras, if you're kind of close-minded to that, I was pretty close-minded to it too, because it just sounded silly to me back then, at first hearing Sanskrit, I think it's called, I think that's what you would count that as, I'm not fully sure, um, anyway, um, what's the other word, um, your endocrine system so it's like pituitary gland pineal uh, of course i don't know any other chakra a heart can i say heart i don't know i have to do my homework okay I, pancreas i don't know i don't know i'm ashamed i don't know okay i have tons of books but i just like don't have time or like honestly i have time i just haven't been making time to do that I've been making time to do everything else that I've been doing. <sighs> and it's been like constant labor is what it feels like. And I'm not even being paid for my time. So it's like, oh my God, I'm working. Like this is what I'm working for. This is what I'm living for, literally. Like this is what I'm dying for. This is what I'm dying doing. I'm gonna die doing this whether I'm paid or not. Like this is what I live for. This is what makes me happy. I enjoy the struggles of this that I'm going through right now. It makes me so happy. I love all of these people that challenge me and constantly embarrass me and constantly call me names and point things out to me that I choose to ignore, especially things that are rooted in my ego, my shadow, my integration of myself to be able to fully see myself as is the true mirror. That's why I also enjoy film. Film triggers like a lot of like energy to me of mirrors and I've always like enjoyed mirror stuff too that's a great tool in um you could say medicine and magic if you study occult stuff and I like the feng shui stuff with mirrors that's what triggers me the most I was told by the woman who took me to my first Reiki session when I was 16 Demarius D she told me she was one of the first people that actually spoke to me in person about feng shui and she pointed out to me like like it's so embarrassing saying it because it just sounds like so out there when you say it but they say that when you have a mirror over the bed that it creates a space for infidelity and like stuff like that and how it's just bad energy to have mirrors televisions and screens and electronics and all that stuff in the place where you sleep just in that one room it's supposed to be free of all of those things. And of course, like so many people are like, oh my God, I have to have a bed, uh, like the TV at the bed, but it creates like a portal. And, and it's hard to explain. And you know, like in, if you like a cult or like you're into paranormal, like spirits like to watch you through mirrors and stuff like that. There's all kinds of stuff about, like you look up spiritual meanings of mirror, dream meanings of mirrors, like ancient traditional folk stuff about mirrors. It's just interesting to look at that, whether it's true or not, it's just something I don't know, just something like that. You're also, windows work as the same as mirrors, supposed to be too. So that's fascinating. <sighs> Obviously, if I could die in water, I probably would. I would probably die diving. <laughs> or with sharks. <laughs> or skydiving. It'd be nice to die doing something that, like, I was afraid of. <laughs> and conquering that fear and dying doing that thing. I would die with pride with that. <laughs> that feels, like, kind of egotistical. <laughs> it's like, I... Honestly, something came through about, like, I know being with this person is literally going to kill me and make me want to kill myself. I'm going to keep being with this person. 
Like, that's our ego talking. We know that's not good for us. Like, are we listening to ourselves? Are we listening? Are we truly listening? Are you paying attention? What? <laughs> like, not, I don't think so. It's like, it's like that, I want to be like that emoji. Like, but there's like, I just don't like the way that we're talking. Like, we're talking about emojis and memes and like, LOL. And I don't know. I just feel like we're being really dumbed down on a collective level and exactly like think about how the iPhones are suggesting you what your suggested reply was. Does that not mess with your mind? Are they not trying, like, I mean, like you can't even think anymore. Like, like it's just, for anyone that knows about George Orwell and Aldous Huxley and Edward Bernays, those three things are like your biggest clues to stepping outside of the matrix, basically. But not really, because you, you kind of just like tear yourself apart. Like think about every intelligent person, like Einstein. I want to be like, we're crazy. Like you just go insane. Like you just know so much and nobody wants to know anything and nobody, and like nobody knows anything. So it's so hard to teach because you don't even know the bottom foundation as to what I'm trying to translate and you can't even keep up. And then I learned recently that you're not meant to keep up. You're not meant to keep up. You're meant to do what you're doing. You serve your part, your role, your purpose. You. You're not meant to be doing what everyone else is doing and seeing what everyone else is doing. I mean, obviously, it helps you as a human to see what different options were. But it wasn't up to you to be nosy in someone's business. Like, you're not obligated to walk someone else's path. Like, you're always going to have people that see your skills and your talents and be like, hey, come be with me. Or, like, try to give you stuff or, mani or give you a reason. Just put it that way in a kind way instead of saying manipulation give you a reason to make you want to choose that answer like here's 50 bucks will you please do what i want you to do how about five thousand? like it's 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 bs okay and it's your choice to buy into whatever you choose to buy into to allow your mind to be manipulated your energy or your time your attention so many different interfaces so many different levels it just kind of frustrated me like how low the levels were. Like, I think I could, I, that makes me empathize with Elon Musk and the Illuminati, or whoever you want to say, that has a wider agenda of putting us all in a port a hole, or what is, what is his company called? Brain Gate, I think, where they unite everyone's consciousness, where everyone knows the same stuff. Like, that would be the only benefit of that. But, like, it's also kind of like literally mind fucking because it's like permission to take over your mind. However, you're already doing that. You already consciously said and paid with your own money and in contract where you check the little box without reading. By the way, I've told you a million times, I'll tell you again, sideways contracts. It's perfect in the digital world. This is a legal thing. It's called reading between the lines. Look it up in legal world. If you're a lawyer, go ahead, do your homework, please, please. Like it's legal or you can have the contract go sideways and has other information there. And because linguistics and words can be interpreted other ways, you're not recognizing what you're doing with your body, what chemicals you're putting in there, like that they know that they're putting inside the food. The food is owned by nine companies. Nine. And not just that, think about it. Bear and Monsanto, like my dad talks about this all the time, and I have like a new video that'll be coming out eventually, if I'm allowed, right? <laughs> Seriously though, um, it's just, it's annoying and just like it's, it's right in front of us and still we're all forced to participate in the little uh, Marriott game. <laughs> and then there's always someone else who's always like, exactly, do this, do that, here's this, this, snakes and uh, like, like Kundalini energy, a lot of that is in there and then like psychology also plays into it because the certain experiences that you go through people treating you some type of way and you experiencing some type of energy some type of way and then of course like you don't let out that energy and remove that negative charge that you had experienced and told someone about it or expressed it in any way anyway expression is like one of my new favorite words to convey what i'm trying to do and share like it can be used in so many ways. Like people to use it to actually talk about diseases when the disease decides to express itself. I keep kind of like freaking out thinking that I see like somebody walk by and that like kind of traumatizes me of course. M mainly because like, I, like, if you've seen Lady in the Water, the movie, you'll know. 
It's about my cookbook, basically. I always wonder, they're coming for me. I'm like Tupac, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my god, Rick and Morty. <laughs> I think of that because I think of Sarah, because every time I see her car, oh jeez. <laughs> that sticker. Seriously though, all that stuff is right in front of us. I can see there's uh, messages being shared. I'm totally getting super pruney in here. Super pruney, and it's not even like super hot anymore, so. I'm gonna try like this hotel shampoo and stuff that might totally be awful. We'll see. It does say rosemary. It just gets kind of frustrating like knowing all that information and like not really having like a huge group to like talk to about those things or just like anybody that can do anything about it. It just doesn't feel like anyone's listening. Just a moment. Should go out there just like this. Oh butthead. I got that too though.
I know what I'm going to do. Oh, the shampoo is awful. Like the mint is cool because it makes it all cold and tingly. But it's awful because like my hair feels like all dry. I can't, I can't read that right now. No problem. How about that whole sending with the message thing? Those will be the messages I heard. Get this open. I don't like that I can't hear the tub draining. Like it's draining, but it's still not making a sound. I really like that sound. It's cool that they mastered the craft of uh, getting rid of it now. So you want to see? So much water. That's so bad. I'm just gonna. Just... Oh, live chat. Uh, I would love for you to wash my hair as well. <laughs> Like help out a little bit, yo. Like, eh. sorry for the soaked floor, y'all. 
Living with Trina be like, <laughs> you think you love water? Well, what comes with water? Water damage. Dropping phones in water. Done it all. <laughs> you wish. You wish. Yeah, I'm so red. Ugh. Mm. Give me something red. <laughs> Yeah, there's only one. There's only one, so all these, oh, actually, there's still Sarah's towel. We can grab that. All right, you're gonna hold. I'm making you hold. This, this isn't, this isn't that other place, so. big trouble remember I gotta like check out what's supposed to be at 11 I've been here like way like I want to be like I've way overstayed my welcome <laughs> a lot of hotels I've checked out at like two before they're supposed to be a resort y'all but check-ins at four and I promise you this place is not packed it is not packed hear me I didn't even bring a hairbrush. Sarah packed my toothbrush, so that's cool. So I'll at least get to brush my teeth. Uh, I definitely need to do more breath stuff. I need, a, I need like, you know what I really need is I need to find like a local class that offers breath, breath holding, or like not breath holding, but like, see what's on my brain. Um, what is it called? Like, the pranayama yoga. I need to be doing pranayama yoga. I think I found somebody at Discovery Yoga. I really like him. He's from Costa Rica, ironic enough. That Pura Vida life. Uh, dude, my jeans are like leaving all these like little fuzzy things all over my feet and I don't like it. Pisces are like very like big feet people in case you don't know. like. Like, that means that, like, our feet are sensitive, or we like feet, or, like, yeah, we like shoes. Love shoes. <laughs> Prone to foot injuries. Oh, yeah. Death. All right, all right, hold on. Ugh. I got my favorite jeans with me. They were <laughs> nearly $300 pants from, uh... That, that one place, Nordstrom. Oh, Nordstrom! I went with the sub, and the sub purchased. Cleaning up my shoe real quick before I put it on. Oh, yeah. These are like my new favorite shoes, by the way. And like, apparently, no one wears them. 
Like apparently you're not supposed to wear the shoes like um, on places that aren't carpet, it's called. All right, just like, be like, one more minute. I'm like so out of breath. So out of breath. All right, one more thing, and then I'm Gucci. Yeah. Uh, uh. Putting on like one of my most favorite cloths ever. <laughs> it's weird, and that's why I like it. Okay. It's hot, because I turn off the air. I'm dying. And it's really hot in here too, so I'm gonna unplug for a moment. Yeah. Oh, dude. Totally gonna lay down with my wet head for a minute too. I wanna see my favorite shoes ever. <laughs> That's not the I told you I destroyed them here. I'll take them off. I'll take them off. Bye bye bye. Even though this lighting is like kind of not so great. Oh yeah. Oh. oh I thought I saw something on my foot. I was like, no. Not on my foot. Anywhere but the foot. <sighs> Roll around the bed a bit, the fart sack, before. What time is it? Where did the clock go? I thought, I thought there was a clock. I don't understand. Ugh, I'm lazy. I'm feeling lazy. <sighs> that was a pretty awesome bath experience. Oh, oh, I have a new idea, a new idea. Squirrel! Uh, it says it can't rotate. Don't be a dick. Alright, you know what I need to do? Do this. And more better now. I can see... I can see ten times more better now. Yeah. I destroyed these. I love them. Though again, I did. Ruins them! Ruins them! And I got jean fuzzies all over me. Well, I need to shave. Totally have to shave. I hate shaving. Ugh. But I also don't want laser surgery either. I kind of like shaving, actually. Just not all the time. <sighs> I'm so red. Crack my neck again. I need some cranial sacral work for sure. That's what I need. Cranial sacral. It's like one of the greatest things. Yeah. It's so pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I told you, if you like golfing, this place is for you. There's, there's so much golfing land everywhere. It's golfers galore. And again, if you like, if you like your neighbors, it's great. <sighs> all right, all right. Let's see. Start gathering some clothes and things. What else? Your garments. I 
handy dandy backpack. Some journals. On my Pilot G2s, because I'm a Pilot G2 freak. You know that? This is the lovely case that comes with the shoes. And then I usually like stuff the shoes and like I use like a sock to protect them. <laughs> Mermaid Hunter. Are you talking about the one in Key West? <laughs> Eddie, I think his name is. <laughs> I like how tight the aqua community is. It makes me happy. Technically, like, a lot of the communities are like that. The cosplay wrestling just everybody needs to come together oh by the way i'm cleaning my ear i'm cleaning my ear here this is like the number one thing you're not supposed to do but god i love it oh do i love it oh yeah 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 tazzy i put the phone down you really want to watch me clean my ear or you want to you want to just sit down <laughs> Oh, oh, I have something I can do for you. I have something I can do. Oh, I thought there was a trash can in the All right. It's right here. I need more of these. I have, I, have, I need, I actually need currently three more of these. Because I have three bowls that do not have a home. I have them on my Amazon wish list. I do. And it's so I can travel with them and use them and like, you know, hopefully they're trina proof. Let's just put it that way. And so far, so good, because I've managed to travel. And yes, I have a few other bowls that do not have a case. Three more presently, and I actually still need three more singing bowls. However, I'm working on working with the... Yeah, <laughs> I'm currently working on the root today and yesterday. So I'll sing a little for you. All right, so I do not have to do that, although sometimes I do. I never use this end. I just do it because I can, it's my bowl, and I trust myself not to break it, although I might break it. So here we go. That root feels good. So um, this bowl company, like either they did an imitation or just like, you know how much I love water. So I got the inside of my bowl wet and it was supposed to be like all of them painted. You know what I mean? And this one was just like lightly painted on the inside. And as soon as water touched it, it all washed out. So I'm gonna have to find a way to know forever that this is that note. And each note heals that level and this is the root, you could say. This is very heavy. <sighs> Did you know that some of my best videos are produced with a black screen? You need to not take your hearing for granted. If I had my Louise Hay book with me right now, I would read out loud to you a huge part of the deafness and what you need to know from that. Please remind me if somebody could write that right now. Deafness. Louise Hay, just say Hay House, H-A-Y, H-O-U-S-E. I will totally, totally, totally do that. Um, someone should do that later. Um, I totally have to do that. You need to hear that. Um, so yeah, I'm totally like getting my stuff together. 
I'm doing my stuff together and it's kind of a nuisance to just drag this around so you can kind of just deal deal with the black screen or you can just look at a white screen maybe a white screen is more comforting for you or should I be like or should I make like a, a sign that's like five seconds <laughs> or like <laughs> please hold thank you for your patience I'm just like gathering up my crystals and my tools like my singing bowl and my stuff in the fridge and we're about to GTFO message retracted what does that mean Yeah, sometimes things are meant to be heard, not seen. Let me get my jewelry. I still have to gather my wet clothes. And I should probably be like be charging my phone while I do. Tazzy, how can you call yourself a follower and you not know that I produce ASMR videos? You can look up basically at Trina Mason or Trina Mason, usually the at Trina Mason thing will get you more of my stuff and then type in ASMR. I also made a playlist now. I mean, however, not all of my videos are labeled that way. They're just like naturally that way. Oh, by the way, look at my awesome purse that I've had since I was a child. Like, it is so old. Like, look, I was Mrs. Ruby Soho. It's, like, so old. It's got, like, one strap. <laughs> I still love it. It's so amazing. It is more amazing. All right, some notes that need to be added to the diaries. Piece of jewelry. Got my GoPro. Get my makeup. So leave it surely, we'll get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Sneezes. Uh someone should say salute. No one? <laughs> I'm being extra cheesy today. Extra cheesy. So I can have one of these. Where's the second one? There's one. I have so much heavy stuff to carry. Bottle from the fridge. Yeah, alright, so I'm doing this, alright? It totally says 35 milligrams of sodium, 25 calories, and I saw something else. Sugars. Oh, 5 grams of sugar. And, and that's just in like 2 fluid ounces. So that's like the tiniest bit. And there's like in that amount, by the way, there was also like protein, 4%, 40 milligrams of calcium, iron, so yeah. So I'm gonna try this real quick. So I made it cold. I've never really tried it cold. Do not open packages this way. <laughs> This is the Trina Mason way, not the Gary way. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's cheat and use this thing. Nope. There we go. Uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Almost. My hands like moisted. Come on. So annoying. I don't get it. I told you. <laughs> Never give up. Alright. Seriously? <laughs> Alright. Oh, come on. 
100% essential oils in a powerful whole body nutrient infusion. The benefits of legendary Ningxia, Ning, eh. yeah, Wolfberry have been sought for many centuries and the ongoing research continues to yield exciting new health properties. Enjoy its naturally delicious flavor daily to sustain energy and to fortify and replenish key nutrients for long lasting health and wellness. There's pectin in it though. Stevia. Oh, it even says do not drink directly from the bottle. Oops. <laughs> ah. Nom 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 nom. It's pretty good. Alright, and then I have the other bottle came in twos, and that one I'd like to share with others, so that's fun, feels like an energy drink, but I definitely feel like I got a boost, and it's so sweet, so it's like I'm drinking juice, I guess that's what makes it dangerous too, because wow, overdose on oil, right? Yeah, yeah, gather up my last few things. Toiletries, hopefully they don't break inside uh, travel and transit. And then I still have another bag somewhere over here. And I found a way to turn this bag. All right, so this is like a Victoria's Secret type, like this kind. I found a way to turn it into a backpack. Uh, there we go. Can we see something? There we go. Yes. All right. I lost Wi-Fi for a second. Oh, by the way, I totally want one of these. So I'm at one percent, and I have to uh, prepare to GTFO. So, let me catch up. <laughs> Always with the multitasking. <laughs> Kisses! I'm reading Sarah's comment now. Actions speak louder, Paul Beavis. Late to the party. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man, Joseph, I'm just now seeing Joe. Uh, Joseph's commentary um, <laughs> at 1209. That is so funny. That is so funny. Yeah, no slipping. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Seriously, though, I'm going to GTFO here for now. Make sure to subscribe. Peace. Namaste.